Pac-12, a big game. Big game for both teams. Number four, Arizona Wildcats. Number 21, Washington State Cougars. 20 and 5, the Wildcats are. 11 and 3 in Pac-12 play. The Cougars, 20 and 6 overall. 11 and 4 in Pac-12 play. This game, unlike the first game, obviously the first game was played in Pullman, where Washington State upset the number four Arizona Wildcats, is the McHale Center in Tucson. And defeating this Arizona team, a good, capable Arizona team, a big, long, lean, fast, up-tempo Arizona team that can shoot, at Pullman was a difficult task. And if you think that was difficult, McHale is ten times the task for this Washington State team that's not used to being ranked, which they are now. All the accolades, the butt slaps, the kudos, the high fives they received this week, all the friends and the family and the strangers and schoolmates, classmates, that told them that they are now the next best thing to sliced wonder bread. Has an effect on a team. Um, what's, what kind of a task is it to be ranked for the first time in forever? Uh, what's, what, what's it like to win or defeat a top 10 team on your home floor for the first time in four years? None of these kids even played for that team that did such four years ago. It's, it's the equivalent of, um, of convincing somebody who knows better that you're the next best thing since sliced bread. That's how difficult it is. It doesn't happen very often. This is going to be a tough task for this Washington State Cougars club tonight. Um, I know they're going to be they're going to be ready to play. They're probably not going to be ready for many many of the situations that confront them, the speed bumps that they'll have to navigate uh, along with the big, long, lean, and um, revenge-minded Arizona Wildcats. Before I get to the, the the basically the conclusion of tonight's game, do yourself a favor, help us help you hit the subscribe button on your screen. Takes one minute, you'll be glad you did. Now, we jump to who the Washington State Cougars are. This, in a short but concise, really look at these two Pac 12 programs. First off, Washington State, um, they took down Goliath in the first meeting between these two. As I mentioned, Goliath being Arizona. Arizona wasn't off center, they, were, they weren't bad. Not a Pullman. They played well enough to win. Washington State just was better. Everything they did was right, every decision they made was spot on. Uh, Isaac Jones had 24 points and 13 rebounds, and State up ended, upset, number, then number eight ranked Arizona 73-70 on Saturday night. Now, it was the second straight season the Cougars have beaten Arizona. So, but don't get, uh, don't get your, you know, your panties tied in a knot thinking, well, they have this Arizona team figured out. What they do is they, they match up pretty well against Arizona, but Washington State comes in a matchup of seven consecutive wins. Ten of the last 11. Have four quad one wins on the year. The Cougars' most recent loss was back on January 20th uh, in, a, in an overtime game to Cal. The Arizona Wildcats, six straight wins. Nine of 11. Arizona has three top 25 wins on the year and seven quad one wins. Arizona is offensively heavy. Listen, the Cats average 91 points per game. Five players who average in double digits. Transfer the Sea Love, he's the go to. Score for Arizona. Averages 19 points, 5 rebounds per game. The Cougars' front court, mammoth. Mammoth. They have the second largest outfit front court, front quarters, should I say, bigs in Division I hoops. But do not, again, believe or listen to someone else's understanding that Arizona is unaware of who the Cougars are and the Cougars are just a terrific matchup and in a, in a, in a situation where they're going to win half the time. That's just not the case. They're a 12-point underdog tonight for a reason. This Arizona team is one of the, it's the most talented team west of the Mississippi. More so than the Kansas Jayhawks. More so than a couple other teams that live on this side of the Mississippi. If you ask me the significant Achilles that Arizona owns is their lack of physicality. They don't lack the length. They don't lack the girth. A little bit of the girth-wise, but uh, they run something that Washington State bigs don't do. They play much slower than Arizona. So there's some there's some there's some tangled webs that have already been weaved and have to be navigated tonight. Uh, and this Washington State team is good. They're good. The best team they've had maybe in program history. Seriously, 
but they're not Arizona. They're not, they're not ready to go to McHale and take down Arizona. Can they stay within the 12-point handicap? Maybe. I'm not standing in front of Arizona. Not tonight. Not a team that's revenge-driven. They lost a conference game. They're at home in a conference game. They're going to win. They'll win tonight. I promise you they win tonight. That's a lot to do because I've seen 12-point dogs or favorites lose all the time. Not this Arizona team. Not under this coaching staff. Not at the McHale Center. Give me Arizona. Arizona. Give me the Arizona Wildcats to win, to cover, and to win by 20-plus points tonight and revenge that loss to Washington State. Thanks for dropping by the Wage Talk Studios. Come back by tomorrow and we can talk about how right I was about this game.